To pick up a point with 10 men is no mean feat. But the O's almost pinched a win when Gary Alexander's shot struck the frame of the goal. At the end of November then, Orient in third place in the League Two table, just three points behind the leaders, Wickham Wanderers. In the FA Cup, the O's travelled to Rushton for the second round tie. And it was Lee Steele who grabbed the winner to send the O's into the third round on an away tie at Premier League Fulham. Back in the league, Orient had two home games in a week. The first against Chester City, who were challenging at the top of the table. Stuart Drummond won it for the visitors with a goal on the stroke of half-time. It didn't get any better four days later against Berry. Craig Easton's dipping effort was the closest that Orient came to a goal. as Simon Whaley secured all three points for the struggling Shakers. Just before Christmas, Orient travelled to Rochdale and produced another excellent away performance. Gary Alexander's header opened the scoring. But Alan Goodall equalised for Dale. Shane Tudor's pile driver restored Orient's lead. But it was the winger's last contribution. He was soon shown a red card for his uh, second defence. And the O's were once again down to ten men away from home. But Orient responded in spectacular fashion. Great footwork from Lee Steele, releasing Gary Alexander to score his second of the game. A cool finish from the O striker, his 12th goal of the season. Rochdale pulled one back through Blair Sturrock. But Orient were not to be denied. Another set-piece goal for the talismanic John Mackey, securing the win. Rochdale two, late in Orient four, and the O's still unbeaten away from home. Boxing Day visitors to East London were Russian and Diamonds as the O's produced their biggest scoreline of the season. Relegation threatened Rushton started brightly and took a shock lead through Drew Broughton. But Orient were soon level as John Mackey scored his fifth goal of the season. The home side were out of sight before half-time. Craig Easton played in Lee Steele for a clever finish.
and Steele grabbed his second of the game from close range seven minutes later. Rushton were reduced to ten men in the second half following a moment of madness from John Dempster. Surely he can't have been surprised to see the red card. Orient took full advantage of their extra man. Daryl McMahon's run and cross headed home by Jabba Ibere. Before a goal of the season contender from Craig Easton wrapped up the scoring. Three days later, Orient travelled to Wickham in a game televised by Sky. Here's your commentator, Ian Crocker. Bloomfield. Helped on by Griffin, and here is Betsy. And Saquani in the way, but it's Charlie Griffin! Martin is a promising youngster, they are going to miss Sender tonight, suspended after reaching five yellow cards, he's been one of their best players this season. Steele helping it on here, and Tudor, it's a good save, but it's going to be followed up by Steele, and that is some response by Leighton Orient, and Lee Steele has grabbed an equaliser. Well, it's a great exchange between Steele and Tudor, and that's the beauty of going for that far post, Frank Talia can only palm it out, and he follows up Steele, lovely little ball in the park, the Tudor, great strike across the keeper, Steele follows up, and it's an easy tap in, but look, go for that far corner, and you reap the rewards, all Frank Talia can do is tap it down, and he just continues his run, and follows home. Here's Bunnell, Zapani, Present. Sure both left backs at half time are given a little bit of a talking to from their managers just to get tighter to the right side midfield players or wingers. Advantage played, and here's Tommy Mooney and Bloomfield! Matt Bloomfield with a stunning strike. Stephen Oakes! and Alexander, queuing up with Saquani and others. Easton's corner, just missed Gary Alexander. Miller has the chance to float it back in, which he does rather well. Great save, but Shane Tudor follows up, and Leighton Orient do fight back. It's 4-2. Well, it's a great returning cross for Miller, you can see. Comes out to his right-hand side, he's back pedalling, turns and gets it in first time. Great header. All Talia can do is just palm it down again, and there's Tudor on the spot. 4-2, and we may still have a game on our hands. Orient entertained Notts County on New Year's Eve. A game settled by Jabba Ibere's header in first half stoppage time. A great way to finish 2005.